Hi, I'm Mike Tubb, and today I am going to be doing a video where I talk about my top 10 dolls that I got for 2023. I know it's a little late. I've seen some people do their videos where they do this, like their top 10. So I wanted to do it and it's a little late, but I want to just, I don't know, take some time to acknowledge the dolls that I've gotten because I feel like with the doll community and stuff, it's like you need the next newest doll. And I want to take a minute to acknowledge the dolls that like when I got them, I was genuinely like excited and like happy and like dolls that like are something that I will cherish part of my collection so yeah I just want to acknowledge some dolls that I got that were dolls that I really wanted and we just like met so much when I got them uh and I'll probably talk about that so if you see me looking down I have a tiny little sticky note where I wrote all my stuff um the ones and they're not in any particular order I'm not ranking my favorites um I don't think I'm gonna do like I don't know I've seen some people do some negative ones with like dolls that I, they don't want and I'm like I don't know because like what if I end up getting them and love them and I'm like this was my least favorite doll um so I think I'm just gonna stick with doing a top 10 my favorite dolls that I personally got um I have my collection because that's super exciting so I could talk about all the ones that I really want that I can't get but <laughs> let's talk about these ones so the first one I think is the only one that I don't have with me and uh, it's mainly because I just didn't want to carry all four boxes just to bring them all, all the way back up to where they're at. So, which is now five, um, which is the original Illy dolls. Um, I love Illy Forever dolls. I think they're really cute. When the 18 inch ones, I think they're 18 inch, they came out, I was like, I really like them. I really want them. And then they came out with fashion dolls and I really really wanted them and there was just a lot I was waiting for sales I just didn't see any um I ended up getting my first one she was 30 I think uh 29.99 I think is their price that is the Tiana one I hope I'm right with their names the ones that they're based off of Tiana and I got her because I signed up for the Target red card and every once in a while they'll do like sales so I did it and it was like you get $40 so make a purchase and you get $40 off um so that's what I did. I bought her and I bought the a brass doll. Uh Fiona. Is that her name? Nope. Felicia. Felicia. Is it Felicia? Um there's so many so many dolls. I can't remember what their name is. But I got them, so I practically got them for free. I think I ended up paying like under five dollars for them after the forty dollars off. Um so I was really excited to get them. Um so yeah, I got I got her and I was really excited. And then on Thanksgiving like literally Thanksgiving day um the dolls were on sale uh for $15 I think like they were half off plus they're doing I think it was the same time but I could be wrong they did a sale that was um buy two get one free or something I don't remember I actually never took my dolls in to like get that sale but you could have if you wanted um like they'll give you your money back but anyways I can't remember so I, I paid like 15 for each so they were half off and so I bought two three more dolls I think it was three I got yeah because that would make four so I got then the Ariel I think I'm just missing Cinderella I got Ariel Belle and Snow White which Snow White was the one that I really wanted because one of the things that I want with the names as the dolls is I want to name them after the actresses and Snow White was the one that I really wanted just knowing the actress of Snow White's story and how she like kind of signed herself over and wasn't really allowed to act so I was like I think that would be really fun to name them after their um actresses so yeah uh and then I just recently literally to yesterday um but it's not gonna be yesterday when you're seeing this video I bought another one um so I'm just missing one I bought the jasmine is it jasmine I think it's jasmine uh because she's been like 36.99 on target's website and I was like why is she literally seven dollars more but I found her at target for only thirty dollars 29.99 and so um I was like I really just want to buy her and I'm sure she was probably that on Disney like Disney's website maybe 30 and I could have just gotten her then but I just I was like Ugh, I don't know if I'll see her for more for less so I bought her it was a big purchase and I because usually I try not to buy dolls for like a lot of money <laughs> just randomly I try to buy them when they're on sale but that one I really wanted I really like that doll um 
and I was like, I'm never going to see her at my store ever again because they don't sell those ones in the store. Um, you have to buy them online or at least at my store. We don't have them. We only have the Jack Pacific. So I really like the Illy Dolls is my story that I was telling with that one. I really like them. I think they're so fun, so cute. And when they came out, I really wanted them and I didn't get them. Um, you know, I just don't have a lot of money to spend. Um, I absolutely love the Jack specific ones, so they're the next ones on my list. Cinderella's the one of my least favorite. Like, I did not like Cinderella's outfit. Um, so if I find her on sale, I will definitely get her. Like, if she was for that $15 point that I put bought the other ones for, but she didn't go on sale. So, I don't know. And if I end up actually getting the Cinderella doll, it's possible that I'm going to buy a fashion pack to put her in. I just don't like her yoga outfit. Like, it's not giving the Cinderella vibe. So, if I end up getting her, I feel like I'm going to have to put her in a fashion pack and give her outfit to someone else because she's just not giving Cinderella vibes, but yeah. So I'm super excited that this year, this year, I got five, well, 2023, I got four of the Illy dolls when I made this video. I only had, or when I made the list, I only had four of them, but now I have five of the original. So I'm just missing one. I don't know. That's so exciting just because it was one of the ones that I was really excited for. There's certain dolls that like, doll lines and like oh these are really cool but like there's certain ones that it's like I must have these dolls and this is one of the lines that I really liked when they came out like I was like obsessed and then the other one that I've seen is that the animal ones that haven't come out yet they're like a tiger or a panda like those ones like if they come out if Walmart or another store picks up because I think that was the rumor I will be buying them full price <laughs> anyways next I don't have an order for them but my dolls are over there so I have to I have to get up but um we'll just cross off that and go with all the ones that are near me first um next I have my babysitter doll which is near me so she is still not fixed up um I know it's been a while since I got her but um I didn't add her to my list because she doesn't fit on my shelf here's my shelf of dolls that I need to fix up so then I eventually just wrote paper like on paper her name and then put her in here so this is Christy this is a babysitter club doll if you don't know she is pretty big she's bigger than a um Barbie I think she might be like around the 18 inch doll thing but she has like different proportions like she's thinner um and I absolutely love them you can hear the that um so this is based off of there's a book series there's a, a movie it might be a show um and then there's a newer show which is what I really liked when I watched it and then I obviously found out that they had these dolls and I was obsessed like I was like I need them um so when I was able to actually find her um for a good price um thrifting I was like yes I think she has her hair cut I think she's got a little haircut so we're gonna figure that out um but she's in her outfit and she's one of the easier ones to find like on eBay and stuff like I see her for not a terrible price but to be able to find her thrifting was amazing and just like be like oh my god I literally know who this is um was super exciting because like sometimes when I'm thrift I'm like I recognize that doll I pick them up and then I go home and I like go oh yeah that's this doll um this doll I saw her and I go oh my god I'm, ge I'm getting her her legs are squeaky though um and yes I do know that they make Barbie size ones um of them I found that out later that they made Barbie size dolls of um the babysitter club but I absolutely love this one this size I think they're really cute so this is Christy from the, the babysitter club if you haven't watched the show there's two seasons I wish there was more I felt like it was so cute and so good but two seasons on Netflix of a newer show me and my mom watched it and we loved it but yes I'm so excited I was so excited when I found her so to have just something that like I watched the show and to be able to thrift so good I want to watch and read the book I want to read the books and watch the other thing I think it might be a show but it could be a movie I don't know um yeah I'm really excited and I really can't wait to fix her up but I'm just kind of nervous to fix her up so we did babysitter club next we have I think she's right here here she is. This one is, you can't see her yet, but this is the 2004 Holiday Barbie. I feel like the thing with collecting Holiday Barbies is typically people want their year, and this is my year. You can do the math. Um, but my, this Barbie is from 2004, and I absolutely love her. I think she is gorgeous. 
I love her. Um, I am super excited that I got a good one, that my year is absolutely beautiful. But she's really difficult to find because, like, some of the later ones, you can find them pretty easily. But I feel like some of, like, the 2000s, early 2000s, I just can't find. Like, 2004, I never see her anywhere. Some of, like, the 1992, like, you can find that one um, pretty well. Like, you can find some of these that I have down here. You can find, like, this one and that one that doll pretty well you can find them like all the time her could never find it um and so i would look online and stuff and i ended up getting her for i think ten dollars i picked up two other dolls i got my sister's birthday uh year and then i got i think the two thousand one so i think i got the gold one and the blue one um and then i got her her so much she's absolutely gorgeous I looked at her I love her look and one of the things that I talk about of holiday Barbies is I wish they did green more because it's a beautiful color so I'm super excited that I have her and I haven't put her on my holiday Barbie display because I just I want her front and center and I can always like see her here so yeah holiday Barbie 2004 is on my top 10 list this year uh of dolls that I got Next, I have to go stand up to find the dolls because yeah. I'm back with more dolls. We have my, what did I write for them? I wrote Crush. I can't remember what they're called. I did a video where I fixed up, not this one, but the other one and that I have. And I can't remember what they're called. And I could just look it up, but I, I haven't yet. So the Crush dolls, you crush their stuff to reveal them. Those are the little ones. I don't know about these ones because I bought them thrifting. I don't know how you open them. I think there's only two online. If I'm wrong, please tell me because I need to know. But these are the bigger ones. They're the ones, hold over here. She has more room. These are the bigger ones. I absolutely love them. I have this one complete. The other one doesn't have her outfit, but she's wearing this one's outfit. And I actually think she looks really cute in it. So I don't even think I want the other outfit. I think I'm just going to keep them in the same exact outfit. But I haven't fixed this one up yet, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And when I found them, I was like, I really like them. The reason why I'm not the biggest fan of the littler ones is because they don't look like their art. But these ones do. And I love them so much. They're so pretty. So yes, I was super excited to be able to get these because when I saw them, I was like, oh my goodness, I need them never seen them thrifting and maybe it's that i wasn't looking but i had never seen them thrifting went out and within like the month of finding like figuring out what they were and like being like yeah i think i'm gonna put them on my list and like researching them and stuff a month later found them both like within a really short time so so this was a really exciting um find for the year and just to be able to again like i talked about before like i don't really get to complete collections a lot there's a lot of dolls out there and i'm starting off really new so like when i complete even like a small thing like i consider like the original um rainbow high dolls the six lineups like each of those series series one series two like that would be completing something i don't even get to really complete those because either one i'm not interested in all the dolls in it or you know i just can't find them um or a doll's out and I'm just collecting them thrift-wise, but like to be able to find them and get get this doll, both of them was super exciting. So I have both of those really exciting and to be able to find them cheap. That's another thing, which is always really nice. Anyways, got a cross crush doll. I literally just wrote crush on my list. Next, I have my two Ever After High dolls and I would love to be like, yes, all my Ever After High dolls that I have, but we're talking about dolls that I got this year, and I have definitely bought in dolls this year. Like, I got my darling um, doll, and I got, I don't remember who I got this year, because a lot of them don't have their outfits, but I got Cerise Hood and Hunter Huntsman, literally complete, and these are their, I think they're, like, everyday casual looks. They're everyday, ever after high looks, Um, and I got both of them the same person same day and not a bad price I think it'd be eight dollars for both of that like each so 16 um, I was super excited to get them I really wanted some other dolls but they weren't there so it's okay it's okay I talked about it ever after high will forever be my favorite doll line it will be a doll line that I um want to complete um even if I don't like the dolls they're <laughs> some of the budget lines even those ones are really cool um they'll always like be something that i'll really want to complete uh it was actually the first ever line 
that I decided I was going to complete because like when I started having Ever After High Master High, my goal was to literally just collect each character. And I was like, yeah, I'll be fine with that. And then I like got another apple and I was like, maybe I just can get all of the dolls. And I was like, it's just gonna be Ever After High. And now it's literally everything like I want all of <laughs> the dolls. So really excited to be able to find Hunter, who was literally one of my favorite dolls growing up as a kid. I loved Hunter Huntsman and then Cerise. Neither of them are fixed up, but I will eventually fix them up. Um, so I'm really excited and my goal is to get more. Um, and again, get all of the characters because I don't have all the characters. Hunter was a new one, but I have a Cerise. I have the Spring and Sprung. Um, I want to collect each of the, the characters. Like I want all of Cerise. I want all of... Oh. Mm, I should do a video <laughs> on all of them because there's a lot and it's my favorite doll line I love Ever After High I talked about it and I will always bring them up because I love Ever After High uh so Ever After High is on my list next we have Novi Stars and again no particular order Novi Stars again she's not fixed up a lot of these dolls are dolls that are headed to be fixed up because I got them um it was just such a good year to get some of the dolls that i never thought i'd get so i have a novi star doll oh she's tipped over honey honey so i have one here she is um i don't remember what her name is uh i think this one's my dog's barking i think this one's Allie. Okay, they all have gimmick names. Is this Galaxy? For some reason, I keep thinking her name's Allie something. Like, Allie's with a gimmick, but I can't remember it. I don't remember her name. I have it written down somewhere, but I can't remember what it is. Um, I feel like her name is Lexi, like Galaxy. I know one of them has that name, but I keep feeling it for her, possibly. She's complete, by the way, and I got her for an insane deal. Um, and then I also got one who's missing her arms and has no clothing. Um, she's also down there. Uh, beautiful doll. Love that one. I love her face. Excited that I have her um, because I love their faces. I would love to have them with their outfits and stuff, but I think, like, their faces and their hair, it's just so iconic. So, this one who doesn't have any clothing, super excited to have her. Like, she's amazing. And now I get two more to add, um, which Novi was one of the ones that I thought, like, I'd never even get one dollar because they are pretty expensive. Like, even her, who's super common to find, is still, like, $30 out of box. Um, I don't, I, she might be cheaper now, but when I was looking, like, this was like the common one. This one and that one I think are common. I don't know about the other one that I have. She's a little bit more common, but she's the first one with clothing um, and her shoes. She's got shoes on. Um, absolutely so excited to be able to have this one on my collection. And I can't wait to fix her up because she is heading there to get fixed up. Okay. I also forgot, I'm holding one that's on my list, but I also forgot that a part of the Ever After High Dolls was Scott Michelle Mermaid. Now that I forgot that I had her, I just, she's in my lineup that I forgot to bring her over. Um, I also got her this year and that was really exciting because I don't have her and she's a newer character and so it's a little bit harder for her to find. I don't know if they're harder or like more to pay, but I found her and I thought she was a good price, so. Next we have my Winx dolls. But not just any wing stalls, but Mattel wing stalls. Um, they should be the ones that are the easiest to find, right? Like in theory, they should be the easiest to find where, like in the US, because I think they were made, but Mattel made them. So the US, were they not widely? I don't know. I don't know if they were widely distributed in the US, but I had never even seen them. And then one day I saw them and well, I, I've heard of them, but I've never seen them before. Um, and they like have like all these bendable stuff. So I got Icy. She's the one that like is the most complete. Like she came with an outfit piece. She's missing a lot. Well, Icy has the most. She's missing a lot. Don't get me wrong. But I was really excited to find her. I think I also have Flora, Stella, and Musa. They have none of their outfit pieces, but I was really excited to get them. So the Mattel wing stalls because I've just never seen them. Um, yeah. 
and again it doesn't have to be complete to be excited about it um yeah but I see she is my only one that I've fixed up so far um they're so pretty and they have like really good bendability and stuff okay wing stalls wing stalls there we go and the next is my first and only so far uh BMR 1959 dolls. I don't know if these are dolls that people like. Like, I don't know if people love these or hate them or what. But when I saw the BMR 1959 dolls come out, it was like literally like early collecting and they were already like finishing up their run. Like, I had started collecting and I had seen people talk about them and like they were already difficult to find for me. Um, I think you can still get some of them, but, like, on Amazon, probably through third parties, but I absolutely loved them, and I just never was able to get them. I just didn't have a lot of money. I, it's always the issue. Um, and I just, I loved them so much. They have the full articulation. They are made to move body, um, but I loved their looks, and it's like BMR, it's BMR, it's Barbara Millicent Roberts, um, created in 1959. I loved them, and so this one I got for three dollars, which is an insanely good deal, I would say. I loved it, and she's almost complete. She's missing her, I assume she comes with shoes. Um, and she could be missing other stuff, but oh, this one's so cute. There's some others that are really cute, part of this lineup, but this is the one that I absolutely love. Um, and when I got her, I was so excited. She also needs to get cleaned up. She's pretty much good. Like, I'm literally just gonna scrub her and then, like, maybe get her hair wet. But she's in amazing condition for, yeah, love her. She's so cute. And <sighs> my first one and, and my one that I will cherish, um, I want all of them. I don't, I don't know if I'll get them, but this one is absolutely gorgeous. I love her so much. And her outfit is so cute. I wasn't a big fan of her shorts, like the little short pant thingies. I don't know. They're weird length. I'm not a big fan, but she's grown on me. I love it. I love her top and her hat, but her pants have grown on me, babe, definitely. Because I'm like, yes, I, she's, I can't switch her out. She looks amazing. So BMR 1959, which leaves one, I think just two dolls so far. So I'm going to have to stretch to get her because she's like right here come on out this one is my oops she hit me if you saw that my moxie teen doll and i was super excited to get her i have done a video where i talk about the different prices of secondhand markets and stuff for dolls and moxie teens aren't actually that insanely expensive i mean they're maybe expensive but they're not that bad but I just, I don't know, there's like, once you reach like not the price that you would pay retail for, it's kind of just a lot. Like even $30 for a Rainbow High doll is insane. Like that's a lot of money. Um, and I don't, I'm cheap. I don't want to pay that. So when you can only find them and they're not going on sales, like it's like, oh, so yes, I was like, dude, what a, will I ever get this doll? I want her wig. <laughs> But I am really excited that I feel that I'm able to like hold a doll um, and like hold her in my hand. So look at her. <sighs> I love her so much. Um, so yes, I have my first ever Moxie teen. And it's really exciting when like I get to like start a collection because like she's my first no be star. Like she will be always the start of my collection. So this doll is so important because she will always be the start of my collection. Again, same for this one. If I get any more of her, she will be the start of my collection. Like it's really cool to have a doll and be like, you are the start of a collection. And I don't know if I'll ever get any more of these dolls. Um, I want to, but I can't promise that I'll be able to find more. But I thought the same thing about her, and I'm making a video about her, so. <laughs> oh, it's start, and that's so, you gotta start somewhere. And so, I'm super excited to have her. And again, it just kind of like, I don't know, brings the, I have an itch. I don't know, brings the, the thought of like, I can get more. I can like, I got her, so I can get more. Especially because like, I don't know, I really only find Barbies and Disney princesses, which 
now the more that I go out and stuff and I find and I go to these places like I'm able to find more also her pants are not staying on there we go um like I'm actually finding more because I got this one and this one at the same place that I pretty much always just find Barbie and princesses so it can happen if you have bad luck places eventually one day someone will get rid of an amazing doll and you'll be able to get it so keep that in mind never give up on dolls and then my last doll that I have on here is the dolls are on this shelf you can even see it I'm just gonna bring three over because I don't want to bring them all over but basically it's the start of my Timu collection so those were here are the dolls that I got from Timo. I'm missing one, um, which is my white hair doll that I put in the pink outfit. Oops, Cerise, she fell. Um, but I love Timu and to get dolls pretty cheap um, and have some really cute outfits is really nice. So the Timu dolls made it on here because I have quite a few now and there's just three that I'm gonna highlight. So I'm gonna grab. You know how I said I was gonna bring over three? Well, I ended up bringing over five. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about them so basically Timu is a site that you can purchase dolls online if you haven't watched it I've done a few things where I review dolls that I got from Timu and I show you them and yeah so you should definitely take a look at them because I've definitely talked about all of these dolls in there but I just want to show them um because they are they're not like grails like some of these are grails they're dolls that I thought I'd never get but these ones are dolls that I was super excited when I got them like I was waiting I was like my dolls are coming so to be able to like show something on here that isn't an insanely expensive doll that you can purchase and get in store and stuff so I wanted to just show because the Ellie dolls there's stuff that I, dolls that I was able to get in stores and these are dolls that you can also purchase obviously you should research a thing before you use it but yeah so I brought over different sizes I was actually almost tempted to bring over the mermaid which you can kind of see her um but I decided not to you can go check out my videos if you want um for Timu dolls but this one is a doll and I bought her nude so I just bought the redhead she's got bangs and stuff she is the typical size of a Barbie with some really good articulation you see that? her knee bends um and then I bought an outfit for her so she was probably like four dollars plus the outfit was probably like three so about six so keep that in mind I think she's about six with like the whole thing but you can obviously buy them nude and then put them in outfits you already have but here she is and she's really nice really nice barbie size okay then i have this doll that i'm super excited she was i think one of my most expensive being 10 which isn't bad is not a bad price so she is let's measure her i don't i do have my bmr 1959 doll right next to me she is okay i think they're about the same size as a bmr 19 like a barbie but she's like obviously like bigger like more of like a baby doll-esque size like she's got thicker body bigger head bigger legs and stuff i love this outfit i bought her for her outfit it's absolutely gorgeous and it's like really nice quality in my opinion um so here she is love this doll so far i think my favorite a part of the dolls that i bought is this one which she is smaller than the other ones she's like the medium sized doll that you can get on timu and again really good articulation beautiful dress beautiful face i love this doll she's my favorite that i have that i got from timu again if you want to like take a look at the video to know like quality and stuff they're definitely cheaper you hear that noise but still an amazing doll to have on display okay then hunter you're getting hit um we have this doll which is my second favorite i absolutely love her again amazing quality like i love her so much um here she is she has glasses but i they put them somewhere uh don't ask where because I don't know. She's a frog theme and she's absolutely gorgeous and I really want the other ones that come in the line that she has. So here's this one, absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, she's got some stains on her face, but that's okay. And then I also wanted to include this one just to show, because I also really like this one. Again, it's that smaller size. Um, I think the smallest on there for like dolls. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Really like her. 
um, and really like the Timu dolls. So just wanted to showcase the Timu dolls because always going to be purchasing from there. But yeah, that's all for my top 10. I know you're like, there was way more than top 10, like your last one that you showed, there were six dolls. So it's like top 10 of like doll ideas. Cause you know, the Ever After High ones was Hunter, Cerise, Michelle, you know, so not a real top 10 dolls, but top 10 variety of dolls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, thanks for watching. Please let me know your top 10 dolls this year, or if there were dolls that you really want to get for next year, you know, let me know your thoughts. Mike, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.